Happy New Year everybody! Welcome back! I hope you had a great Christmas holiday and enjoyed spending some lovely times with your families. I certainly did. I hope you had some nice Christmas presents as well. I can't wait to hear all about it all. So we are going to be doing home learning for a couple of days this week at the moment. I've already sent you through your home learning plan this morning so um, well done to all of you who have sent through some work already for that good job um, one of your literacy tasks for some of you was to listen to the room on the broom story on bbc iplayer so i thought today's story could be room on the broom for everybody it's one of our favorites in poor class isn't it okay room on the broom the witch had a cat and a very tall hat and a long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes, and thunder in paws, they bounded a dog with a hat in his paws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her bat, her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Oh no! Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then, out of a tree, with an ear split and shriek, they flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the stick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the bird shrieked for, with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, left a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried her wand on the folds of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, hmm, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he began, to, just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice was, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode through the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. <gasps> the dragon drew back and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. 
and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down jumped the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And oh, thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! And out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. And they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. The end. Oh, it's one of my favourite stories. I love that one. I hope you enjoyed it. See if you can listen to the one on BBC iPlayer as well. And then tomorrow's task will be all about this Room on the Broom story. Have a lovely afternoon, everybody. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now.